My father was a person who believed in education and he would always push on science. Even in this small refugee camp, a hut, he used to blow out the egg, the inside of the egg, and he used to make a steamship and then put a candle just underneath the, the egg shell, fill it with water, and it would become a boat on the small tub we had. And so we began to dream from a very small age. I wanted to be an engineer or an architect or whatever. My name is Avishay Gazmer. I'm 25. I am originally from Bhutan and I came to Australia in 2009. We had to leave everything. My uncle was in prison up in Chemgang, which is a high security prison in, in Bhutan. And my father had to just help and scramble and help the family get, on, get, get up on their feet outside of the country. I think as a child I felt um, very disoriented as to who I was, what I am so supposed to identify myself with, whether I'm a Nepali, whether I'm a, whether I belong to one group of people. For a long time, I struggled to understand what I was and who I was as a person. The first day, I literally could not understand where I was. Everything was like a clean slate. You, you had to discover everything. You felt like a tourist, but on a, on a long-term visa or something. <laughs> One of the best moments, I think, would be Youth Parliament. I was very new, just three months, and then, boom, I was in Youth Parliament, and there's, there's this whole group of young Australians mixed with all sorts of people. I think that, that was where I really sensed the level of expectations from people because young people very competent were bringing out extremely good ideas and you had to feel that you could do something there but you have to try hard that developed a lot of um, ideas and you feel empowered and that's something that happened in Australia for me when I'd been here for at least two years and then I went back to Nepal uh, that's when I realized that being in Australia, being a person who has identity, being recognized, is something that I'd never had and I'd never understood that I should have it. So that was one thing, that was one point of time that I realized Australia is home for me and I feel good about it. And that was a new feeling to have a home. The life of a refugee um, has probably been a struggle but at the same time, an eye-opener for me because I feel stronger as to who I am and what I need to do. One of the best things of being in Australia is getting good education. At the moment, I, I'm a law graduate, so I finished my um, law degree and it took me a lot of hard work to get there. So, in a way, I'm proud of that. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of pressure now that I have to move ahead and do something something important and one of the most important things that I'd like to do is work in labor law and work on a lot of issues that relate with the current situation of the global economy and you have this weird sort of mix where transnational capitalism is, is creating a lot of problems so on a local level I want to make an individual effort to help as many people as possible in whatever I way, way I can to help these people get justice wherever they need to and that is that is a dream I have. It's important to go beyond your color and see that you know everybody in this country can contribute, should contribute and will contribute.